Hi. Today, I'll teach you how to make a simple causal loop diagram. I'll be using the Vensem PLE 8.2.0 software, which I downloaded free from the Vensem.com website. It's free for educational purpose, and you can download this anytime. So for this um, video, I will teach you how to make a simple causal loop diagram, and I will be using the student population system, which I included from my previous video on introduction of the causal loop diagram. Now, this is the Vensem software interface. You can see lots of commands, lots of icons here. But for the sake of this video, I will just use a few basics to make a simple, to make a basic CLD. Actually, this software is it can allow us to create a causal loop diagram and a stack and flow diagram. Okay, the other commands here are to make the stack and flow diagram. So basically, when we do a causal loop diagram, we have these um, few basic commands. Okay, so to start, okay, let's input text or words for the elements that are parts of our system. So let's have the variable. Okay, the variable command allows us to write or input words. So when you click that one, you click our screen, you can click anywhere, you can select where you want your words to be placed. So let's type student population. Okay. Actually, you can use this um, small node here to customize our student population alignment. Okay. So it depends on you if you want to be aligned this way or this way and comfortable with this way. And if this is command is still on, it is um, highlighted with this um, blue color with a border rectangular form. It is still active. Your command is still active. When you click, you can still write. You can still input words. So let's input um, students enrolled because our student population will be influenced by our students enrollment as well as students who will graduate, students who graduated previously. Okay. So actually through Vensem, you can also modify the texts. You can change the font size, font style. Okay. Depends on what styles you want. So you can, Highlight, then let's try Arial. Okay, changes. You can do ball, and you may also change the color. Let's try it red. Okay. And one way also is to use this move command, move or size command, this um, hand symbol here. You can click, you may not highlight. Okay, because it automatically highlights. And let's try to change to Arial again. Then let's change the color to, let's try pink. And choose bold to make it more visible. Okay, then for student population, let's do Arial. Then let's color that one um, green. And okay. Now you can, through this command, you can align. You can drag your text anywhere. And this. Since we have a simple model, okay, let's just choose this placement. Okay, now these are the essential or the basic elements that influences student population. Now, if there are more students enrolled, it will lead to our increase in student population. So this is how we indicate the causality or the link. So we use this arrow. So if our students enroll 
influences the population, our arrow will start here. Click that one. Then it is directed towards the population. You click that one. Then this node at the center allows us to transform our line into a curve. So you click that one and drag. Okay. Notice that it is now then transform into curve because in causal loop diagram we will be making loops. Okay. The shape of our loops will look like a circle. Okay. It follows a circular path. Then students enrolled has positive polarity to student population because when it increases, it also increases. So let's add polarity, the polarity for a positive um, feedback, positive influence is pos positive sign. So we right click, then select positive polarity, then okay. Okay, then as student population increases, it feedbacks our student enrollment. Now, if there are more student population today, more will enroll in the next semester or in the next year. So our arrow will start here. Actually, you can also click at the center so that the node will stay here and arrow will be directed towards the students enrolled. Then you can now make a little adjustment because you already click at the center. Then let's not forget the um, polarity. Actually, you can use this command, but make sure you highlight. So you click. When you highlighted that one, it turns to yellow. Okay. And it would look like this. Then you can click here at this um, portion, set polarity on selected arrow. So you can click and select the positive polarity. Okay. Then for our student population, as student population increases, it will lead to more graduation in the future, right? And it has a positive polarity. Now, if more students will graduate, it is sure that student population will decrease. So it will have a negative polarity. Okay. Now you can do adjustments to make it more perfect circle. Okay. Now in making causal of diagrams, it is very important to know which loops are reinforcing and which loops are balancing. Now, we know that reinforcing loops are composed of positive feedback loops. So here, all are positive. So that is a reinforcing loop. Actually, there are instances that both will be negative. So the technique there is you just must multiply the signs. If you get positive, that will be reinforcing loop. Now for balancing loop, okay, it's opposite. If you get a negative sign, that will be a balancing loop. Okay. Now the input level, okay, to indicate the reinforcing loop, which is the symbol will be R. Okay, as you can see, it is enclosed with a box. Actually, you can edit the box. Let's transform that one into a the sign of our the symbol for the direction of our. Um, the direction of our feedback loop. So it is going counterclockwise. So you click that one, then here in this part, you can set a surround shape on selected var variables. So let's choose counterclockwise symbol. Okay. So it's going this way. So that is represented by R for our enforcing loop. You can then drag and place at the center. Okay, then actually you can change this, the fonts, area, then bold, Let's color it. Then here, this is a balancing loop. 
actually this time i'll teach you how to copy so actually you can copy variables but if you have many variables in your system you can copy copy so that you can only input one text box then you just edit or it depends on you it's just like a trial and error and if what makes you comfortable then you can do it so say for example this i will copy this variable choose this move command move or size command then highlight you may copy and paste as you can see if you drag that one there is a zero okay because in causal loop diagram for, for the software you cannot input same texts so automatically there is a, a variation that the software gave us then from that we select this level command to edit so the balancing loop is represented by letter b so we'll change it one into b but the direction of our loop is going clockwise so we'll also change the direction of our loop then we choose the move command then highlight or click then we choose this clockwise symbol okay so actually any one of us has the freedom to make our causal loop diagram more presentable so you just have to be careful on the signs okay on the polarity before you indicate what kind of loop is that would that be a reinforcing loop or a balancing loop? now this is our simple a model for this tutorial then do not forget to always save your works go to file save as um, cld example then okay you save okay there you go so you're now ready to make your own causal diagram thank you so much for being with me and see you on my next video.